Tom Corbett, Space Cadet. Space Academy USA in the world beyond tomorrow, 2350 A.D. Here the space cadets train for duty on distant planets. In roaring rockets, they blast through the millions of miles from Earth to far-flung stars and brave the dangers of cosmic frontier, protecting the liberties of the planets, safeguarding the cause of universal peace in the age of the conquest of space. Ganymede, a satellite of the planet Jupiter, Tom and Astro have entered the secret base of the space pirates, searching for Captain Strong, Dr. Dale, and Roger Manning. But they are unaware that they are being watched by hidden eyes. Meanwhile, in Master's office, Roger faces the most important decision of his life. Yeah, go ahead. Captain Masses, those two unidentified men are getting closer to the control center of the base. When do you want us to stop? Wait for my orders. Look, Captain Masters. You heard me. Wait till I tell you to close in. Yes, sir. What are you doing there, Junior? Just looking around, Captain Masters. Yeah, well, keep your hands off that generator control. Why? Was I doing something wrong? Didn't they teach you anything at Space Academy? That knob controls the fission rate in our atomic power plant. Fool around with it and you'll blast us right off the face of Ganymede, so hands off. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? I, uh, don't know yet, Junior. You gotta show me. Anytime you say. How about right now? Suits me. All right. Here you are, Junior. What am I supposed to do with this? What do you want to do with it? What are we doing, playing games? No, Junior, we're not playing games. Here, you better take it. You'll need it. For what? Just this. I don't need Captain Strong or Dr. Dale anymore. With Erickson dead, I can't get my hands on that rocket fuel. Dr. Dale only knows half the formula. So? I don't keep useless people around, Junior. I get rid of them, fast. What are you telling me all this for? Oh, come on. You got better sense than that, Junior. Can't you do your own dirty work? Not when I got bright young boys like you around to do it for me. And if I won't, I told you this is your way in, Junior. Your ticket inside. Well? The price of admission's pretty high. But, all right, I'll buy it. Fair enough. Let's get going. Well, what are you waiting for? Nothing, Captain Masters. Not a thing. We've come too far without being stopped, Tom. Without even seeing those space pirates. Just doesn't add up. Maybe so. But we're her here to find Captain Strong, Dr. Dale, and, and Roger. We're not leaving until we do. Yeah, but when we do, we may not be able to. That's what's really bothering. Worry about that when we come to it. Mind if I do a little worrying in advance? No, go right ahead of it. Makes you feel any happier. Wait a minute. Here's another tunnel leading off. Now, which way do we go? Uh, whichever way we go, it'll probably be wrong. Listen, Astro. Stow that kind of talk. You're not helping matters at all. I'm sorry, Tom. Somehow I just can't help feeling that, that we're too late. No matter what we do, we can't help Captain Strong now. If we can't, maybe we can make Jim Masters pay for his life. Now, come on, we'll use this tunnel. Leave our helmets to mark the way we can. Right. You ready? Let's go. How long is this going on, Steve? How long can he keep us here? Until he gets tired of playing with us. 
Until he decides to... You don't really think he'd kill us? Life is pretty cheap to Jim Masters. But we were once his friends. We were cadets together. You really think that would make any difference to him now? I'm sorry, Steve. I don't mean to go feminine on you now, but... I know, Joan, I know. Blast it. Why did you have to be caught in this mess? Well... <laughs> Hope I'm not intruding. All right, Masters. Let's settle this once and for all. Easy, Steve, if you don't want to be a dead hero, too. How long are you going to keep us here? Not long, Steve. Not long at all. Come on in, Junior. We'll wind this up very quickly. Roger. You'd better start saying goodbyes. Junior's got a job to do. On you. No, Roger. You couldn't. Sorry, Dr. Dale. It's like Captain Masters says. I've got a job to do. Junior's taking his final exams for my academy. Okay, Junior. I've got news for you, Masters. I'm flunking my exam. <laughs> well, uh, you couldn't resist, could you? You had to play the hero. Knock off that chatter and back up against that wall. Hey, look up. I go or I'll blast you. <laughs> With what? Go ahead. Pull the trigger. You didn't think I'd leave you with a loaded ray gun, did you? <laughs> well, nice work. I've got to compliment you. But you lose heart. Sorry, Captain Masters. I thought I could work it. You don't have to apologize to me, Roger. Not now. All right. This is where we cut the comedy short. Right here. Good shooting, Tom. You nailed him. He can't move. Tom Astro. Oh, Dr. Dale, Captain Strong, are you all right? Sure. Sure, but how in the places did you two get in here? Well, sir, it's a long story. You better we... cut it short, Junior. We haven't got time for long stories uh, now. Being a prisoner hasn't softened your disposition any, has it? Leave him alone, Astro. Roger, just... Not now, the... Dr. Dale. I mean it. An atomic plant is liable to go up any second. Go up? How do you know? This whole place is powered by an atomic generator. The fission rate control was up in Master's office. I turned it full when he wasn't looking. Great, Jupiter. We're practically standing on an atomic bomb. Come on, Joan. Oh, wait a minute, Steve. What about him? Oh, yes. Masters. We can't leave him here, even if he does deserve it. One of you put him on your shoulders. Come right, on, sir. Hold it, Astro. Let me handle him. Give me a neutralizer. All right. But make it fast. I'll be right behind you. All right, Junior. It's just the two of us. You told me all about a solar guard you once knew. A guard by the name of Manny. You laughed at him because he threw his life away to save yours. Well, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm his son. And I'm gonna make you pay off for everything you owe him. Take it easy, masters. This will neutralize the parallel ray effect on your body so you'll be able to move again. I'm just enough of a hero to want things even. All right, sucker. Now we start playing off. This is the way, Captain Strong. We're practically near the surface. You can get some spacesuits there. Hurry, Steve. Wait a minute. Where's Corp? Huh? I thought he was following you. He was a minute ago. 
And Manning hasn't showed up yet. By the craters of Luna, I'll bet Tom went back after him. Listen, Astro, you go ahead. Take Dr. Dale with you to the ship. I'm going back. I'll go with you. No, no, John, you'd only be in the way. Well, can I go after them, sir? You're the only one that knows the way out of here. Now get Dr. Dale to the ship. That's an order. Aye, aye, sir. I'll see you later. I hope. Come on, Dr. Dale. Space crawler slugged me. He wouldn't fight there. That's what I get for trying to be a hero. All right, up on your feet. We gotta get out of here. No, beat it. I'm too rocky to walk. Look, Manning, being a hero doesn't quite suit you. Now let's go. It's no use. We'll never make it. Those atomic generators must be steaming by now. This whole place will go up any minute. Come on, let's go. Miss the next action-packed episode on Monday when Tom Corbett and the Space Cadets battle for their lives against the Space Pirates of Ganymede. Tom Corbett is played by Frankie Thomas. This has been a Rock Hill production.